Today's topic, you could say, is a technical one and one that can have a significant impact on the future of cleaning as technology and innovation meet imagination. To introduce this topic, I welcome Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, the Senior Director of GBAC, a division of ISSA. Gavin, good to be with you. Hi, Jeff. How are you today? I'm great. Hope you are as well. Doing, doing very, very well. I know today you're happy because you get to talk about something that's exciting to you. Oh, Jeff, look, I think it's so critical that at ISSA, our mission is to provide members with the highest quality, industry-specific, relevant information. And we do that by making the scientific connection between cleaning and health. And that's what we're going to do today, Jeff. Lots of discussion at the InterClean conference in Amsterdam in Europe, Jeff, about symbiotic cleaning products. They're amazing. They're going to significantly improve our cleaning performance. They're going to help us do better in protecting the built environment. They're ecologically sustainable. Um, they offer so many benefits and they protect surfaces between the last clean and the next clean, Jeff. So what I'm seeing right now, the amazing amount of research that uh, is appearing almost daily in this area of the symbiotics cleaning industry is really just staggering. The potential for this is staggering for what it's going to do for the entire industry. Well, let's talk about that. Um, I'm, I'm familiar with the term called probiotic, and I did some research, and this is somewhat tied to that. Can you explain a little bit about the science behind this, what it means for the cleaning, the cleaning industry, and what kind of impact this can have? Yeah, really great question, Jeff. I think when we talk about probiotics, first thing people think about is, oh, yogurt and other substances that we take to um, you know, help improve the bacteria that live in our stomach. And But it's more than that. In the cleaning industry, this is about a journey, a journey of using live bacteria in cleaning. So symbiotics, Jeff, is really the third generation of this journey. We started with enzyme, enzymatic cleaners. That was the first generation. They, you know, they break down soil molecules into smaller pieces and they make the cleaning actions easier. But they have a problem. Well, they have some limitations. So enzyme cleaners can't tackle many different kinds of dirt. And they're usually developed to tackle one kind of dirt, but they're very effective at what they do. Then we had the second generation, Jeff, probiotic cleaners. Now, this is where we took live bacteria, and because they're alive, they can keep producing these enzymes that break down the soil molecules, and then the bacteria, the probiotic bacteria, consume them. But the challenge with the probiotic cleaners was that those cleaning actions can maybe continue up to three days after initial clean. It might be a bit longer. Now, Jeff, we're talking about the third generation, symbiotic cleaning products. And this is where it gets really exciting. We've now got cleaning products that are a combination of the probiotics, the beneficial or good bacteria, with a prebiotic. And that prebiotic is food. It's a food source for the probiotic. So it helps the probiotic bacteria thrive. It enables them to start working faster so that the probiotics are more active. And what we're also finding through all the research is that with the, when you combine a prebiotic with a probiotic, those probiotic, probiotic bacteria actually live longer on surfaces. Okay. Does this fit the category of green cleaning or part of the sustainability program that cleaners um, should be looking at? It fits, this is really important, Jeff, it fits the category of responsible cleaning and the fact that all of us in the cleaning industry, our role is to protect the built environment. So we know, Jeff, we clean, we have to remove things and then we have to dispose of them properly. We could use soap and water, we could use a we can use a, um, a cleaning product, um, we could use a disinfectant. But what happens, Jeff, between the time we clean to the time that we clean a second time or the next time? By using these symbiotic cleaning products in combination with your cleaning routines, you can now create safer, healthier surfaces for a lot longer. So you're getting a lot, a longer lasting clean, Jeff, not just from the initial time we clean to the next time we clean, which could be one week, two weeks, whatever time period is, but using a symbiotic clean product, we're getting a longer lasting clean, which means we're getting a safer, 
healthier surface. Okay. So how how much is this being used right now? Or is this just emerging? Are you seeing this in products right now? Yeah, it is, it's really emerging. So we've seen enzymatic cleaners, the first generation. We've right. seen probiotic cleaners, the second generation. The symbiotic cleaning products, the combination of a prebiotic with a, with a probiotic, this beneficial bacteria that we've talked about, is really exciting. Because we know that these probiotics, these beneficial bacteria, Jeff, when they're carefully selected, they can have the ability to outcompete harmful bacteria. They break down organic matter and they create a longer lasting clean. And you can use them on so many surfaces. You can use them on, on hard surfaces, Jeff, like countertops, floors, and tiles. You can use them on kitchen and bathroom surfaces. They're, they they work against mold and mildew. So you've got sinks, toilets, showers, uh, grout, um, shower curtains. You can use them on those high touch surfaces that we talk about that are, you know, again, a risk for disease transmission, doorknobs, light switches, handrails. But here's the big, the really big important point here, Jeff, soft surfaces. We struggled so much with how to clean for health and safety soft surfaces during the COVID-19 pandemic. Probiotic or even those symbiotic cleaning pro products that contain prebiotics and probiotics, they can be used on soft surfaces like carpets, upholstery and fabrics, and they can make them safer because the probiotics compete and compete against the harmful bacteria and they usually most times they win jeff okay so some watching this might be thinking this means i don't have to clean as frequently i can clean the men's room once a month instead of you know where i'm going with this what would you tell those people that think i don't have to clean as often well th this is really important there's been lots of research there's been lots of research done in hospitals nursing homes airports. Uh, I just read a new research that just came out at an ambulance station in London, England. And what we're finding is that when you combine your symbiotic cleaning products with your routine cleaning processes, we're getting those like, longer lasting cleaning where and we're getting less of the harmful bacteria. Um, so some specific examples, Jeff. Um, cleaning in the kitchen, how do we remove the stubborn food stains and residues, a symbiotic pro pro product is going to help you do that. Carpet and upholstery cleaners, you know those those soft fabrics, those porous uh, materials that we struggle with. How do we remove stains and odors from those fabrics? We're dealing with food spills, pet stains, other residues. How do we eliminate odor odors by removing the source? But also a symbiotic clean product can help you with all that. Um, bathroom cleaners. We see that the symbiotic cleaning products, um, again, create um, lactic acid. So they're creating an acidic environment. And we know that, that environment, Jeff, inhibits mold, mildew growth on tiles, grout and shower curtains. Uh, other symbiotic cleaning products will, might contain things like bacillus species, which produces enzymes like proteases, amylases, lipases. Now, they break down protein, starches and fats, respectively. And we also already know from enzymatic cleaners that these activities help decompose the organic material matter on surfaces. So think about this, Jeff. Think about the big picture. We've cleaned a surface. We've done it professionally. What happens after we finish cleaning? It starts getting dirtier again. But if you use a symbiotic cleaning product, you've put beneficial bacteria on that surface, whether it be porous, non-porous, hard or soft, and it creates a safer, healthier clean for a much longer period of time. Okay. So the big picture is cleaning for health, it sounds like. That's it. This is all, it's, it's, This is what's so excited about at ISSA when we try to help people with the understand the, um, the connections between uh, doing better in protecting the built environment, doing better in connecting between the scientific connection between cleaning and health and protecting surfaces between your last clean and your next clean. And these symbiotic cleaning products, Jeff, are amazing and they're going to have a huge impact, a staggering impact on the cleaning industry. Okay. So we'll just have to wait and see what that impact looks like. Anything you would like our viewers, our ISSA members to do now with this information? 
Yeah, it's this is really important, Jeff. Um, you know, the science of cleaning. Cleaning is based on science and evidence. We at ISSA and all of our ISSA members, we want healthy environments. We want to reduce harmful bacteria. We want to reduce allergens. We want to reduce odors. We want to reduce the use of chemicals that could be harmful to both um, the buildings as well as people. We want sustained cleanliness. We want to help maintain longer lasting cleanliness. We want to reduce the frequency of deep cleaning sessions. And that's going to come around to education and training, Jeff. We have to educate and train people on the benefits and the proper use of symbiotic cleaners to maximize their effectiveness. We have to help people with, with compatibility. How do we ensure the compatibility of these symbiotic cleaning products that contain beneficial bacteria with existing cleaning routines and services to ensure that we get optimal performance? So lots of work for us to do, Jeff, but so exciting that we're seeing um, science, research, from so many ISA member companies come out with products that are really going to be big game changers.